All right, so they're on, uh, they're in. Got them butchered together. Uh, this is a mess too, cause it goes this way, that way, that way. Yeah, I, I uh, <laughs> nothing I can do any better. Uh, anyways, this little rubber knob right there is gonna cause problems because it don't go deep enough this metal piece right here kind of runs right into it so what i did to make this side feel a little bit snugger i also put me put some more washers in there but there's some in there already to push this light out just a little bit uh right away i noticed some damage i don't know if it's supposed to be like that but it's uh got a nice little chip in it there a little nick there uh some oh it's wax uh the light should probably come to the right more but i can't not when i push it out like that anyways i'm gonna do the same with this side just put my washers in right there push the light up while well, i put the screw in and yeah i just push it up against there you only need like one or two washers tops and it don't have to be on top and bottom. Uh, just to point it up a little bit. I put a, a little bit thicker of a one washer there. And a thin one right there. Still has that weird slant down. I guess that's just the design of the light. There's nothing I could do about it. Uh, what a mess. Uh, first, the lights, they look alright. <laughs> I hope they perform better than they look. And also, this weird little ring here, it's like got gel and glitter in it. I don't know what's up with that. Alright, so I figured it out. I didn't pound this in far enough. And even though there's rubber on there, this was like uh, somehow when it get pressed up against there, it would cause it to ground out. So just need to whack it in further or it needs to be cut out. Thinking about later on, I'll just cut this out. <sighs> but give it a good whack in, uh, dent it in right there and go along your way. Cause these will get on that and ground out. They should have been thinking, but they weren't. It's made in Taiwan. At least I know it ain't the bulb that failed. It's just, it's grounding out. Could be bad. It could have hardened the truck. Could have blown fuses. I don't know. All right, so after the past couple of hours, I'm like fucking pro at taking and putting these taking them out putting them back in but that's what i got so far and granted it's only like 10 feet uh, yeah there's ram 20s and they're, they're actually for sale if anybody's interested there's the low beams which <laughs> i don't know what this is up here or or there but as uh i'm counting for this and that um like i say you might need washers also this was grounding out because i needed to pound that uh in more that's why it kept failing and uh this one i pounded in pretty good and you see that it's damn near flush with that now again i pounded this one in pretty good it's not flush over here hell of a gap so not very very well made I don't know the bulbs are interchangeable the fact is you have to resolder in a new bulb is what you're gonna have to do especially for this one this one's interchangeable <coughs> uh, here's the high beams again they're pretty filthy pretty dirty And then might want to be LEDs. Let's grab all this out of here. 
while I can still see. I mean, it's fairly dark out. Fairly, fairly dark out. Shit, I don't even know if that is everything. You guys see anything? Let me know. Put it in the comments. Oh. There's a flashlight right there. Yeah, I could have told me. Dicks. It's all your fault. Cab lights looking pretty good. High beams. Damn near spot on. And they're low enough. I'm not going to blind the shit out of people. I just hope they uh, project far enough down the road to where I can see down the road. Not overdriving my headlights. But they are fairly bright. So I ain't too, too worried. Um, I would say they can come up just a little bit more, but I'm not going to fuck with it. That's like four foot up already from 10 feet away. So I'm sure they're, they're, uh, going to project higher the further back I go. I'm not sure though. It, it might be how it works. <coughs> um, high beams, low beams. We'll turn the fog lights off to get a better idea. You can see. Well, can you see it? Damn near spot on. Like, damn, damn near close. I'm not going to keep fucking with it. But, to me, it looks like it's damn near spot on. They do look dope, though. <laughs> they do look dope. <laughs> Only if you guys could see this in person. There's just way too much glare on that, but only if you guys could see them halo rings, like for what they really are. They just got this weird gel on. Damn, does that get hot? Jeez. My hand's smoking. And we know now, I don't get those marks up high. Anybody else know what that's about? But we're gonna try and aim it down the road. And... Oh shit, look at that. That's aiming real high. Nobody's gonna like me. But I'm also pointing uphill, but. Damn. Still way too high. Insane. I'm not even using fog lights either. Look at that. It's got like a wide shine too. Can you see that in the houses? Um, these lights go cross-eyed. Just so you know. Like the passenger side is pointing to the driver's side. And driver's side's going passenger side. So I don't know why I hit my blinker. But I did. Supposed to be recording I can hear the bitching right now. Why is he recording and crying? <laughs> Fuck you! This is my low beams, just so you know. That's high beams, low beams. I don't know, I think they're pointed pretty decent still a little high compared to what I'm used to but I think cops hate that shit more than other people well I don't know I haven't driven around this side of the block in a real long time but everybody knows this truck. You used to leave black marks going up and down the road all the time. It's like, really? You got to park in the road when there's cones out everywhere? Basically, this is where I'm going. It's a quick little spot. It's out in the woods. And I can really 
see the potential of my lights, even though it's not all the way dark. Here's a good spot. Yeah, that's that's not bad at all. Shit, that's not bad at all. Going in between the puddles. <laughs> Shut up! Uh oh. Is that mud? No! Don't go in that. Yeah, we can't go too much further because I don't want to get all muddy. We're stuck. Because there could be a dog man out here or something. You never know. I'm just idling in second gear. Shit, I was on high beams the entire time. Yeah, them them low beams are pretty high. You can see them right at the treetops right there. <laughs> Even though, oh, yeah. People from distance are gonna be mad. Yeah, I had a feeling I should've put them down further. But you know what? Fuck them. I'm pointed downhill right now, that's why they're actually looking all right, but as soon as I hit level ground, they, uh, they aim up pretty high. Oh, it's the ICP fucking lights. <laughs> ICP. <laughs> Insane clown pussy. I mean, posse. I mean, yeah, I'm a crazy poser. turn signals ain't that great because you don't really see them from the side. This thing quit working on me. Let's see if we can get it to work though. Oh, I just unplugged it. Well, we ain't getting it to work now. Hang on guys, bear with me real quick. I'll just shine you back out the road. Splinter cell, work! There it is! It's working again. barely in touch throttle and she's snappy she acts like she got all the power in the world now nah, when it really doesn't she got some pep though because it's you, you know it, it, it's it's got stick shift so it's yeah, yeah man it's got some pep in her step so anything it gives it it's pip it's a pippy pip pip Let's turn the dash lights off. Looks pretty decent, eh, guys? All these fucking street lights. Uh, we'll cruise for another second or two until we get pulled over. I don't know, looking at the cars as I'm rolling up on them, it comes halfway up to the doors when you get close enough, but when you're a ways away, it it really shines down the fucking road. Like, the low beams really don't, but the high beams do. I'm trying to look for the dark alley and shit, but we ain't got one really. Got too many weirdos out here, so they put street lights up. Ooh, I'm not liking that. I can't see around corners when I turn. That's nasty. That's not very good at all. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to add more washers again. Cause you can't fucking, you can't fucking adjust the lights left or right. And I was looking to see how I could mount my own, uh, the old stock housings fucking uh, left and right adjustment. I was going to see about adding that, but there's nowhere to put it on the new lights. And I'm also scared that I'll probably drill right through the fucking whole housing and screw it up somehow. No, in my luck, it won't be wire resistant at first. And yeah, 
so on and so forth, you know? So far, they ain't bad. Just a couple of flaws. You want to sacrifice seeing around corners and shit and blinding people? Get them. Because they're in style, you know? I don't know... Yeah, it's not bad. It's not blind in that car unless I put my high beams on. Oh shit, let's see. We're in pre high gear, riding out the clutch. A little close to the house. That's okay though. We'll, we'll accept that. Alright, guys.